Well, hello there folks and welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Yes, it's a new week, you know what that means. Yes, it's another brand new video. Uh, I've got a lot to cover today, so I'm going to whiz through. Um, taking no prisoners today, so... What I'm planning is I'm going to announce the winner of my Glengoin giveaway, which was a little five sample set, uh, which this one. I did the draw earlier today and it's Siri chose number eight and on my list of people who entered, uh, Tony Murphy was number eight. So congratulations to you, Tony. Uh, what I'll do, I'll drop you a little note in the comments if you can send me off your email address and your contact details then I'll get this off to you as soon as Tony and congratulations once again my friend it's a super sample that so I hope you enjoy it also today guys I'm going to do a little uh, comparison video I'm going to do a couple of nine year olds uh, I have the Tomatin nine year old Caribbean rum cask uh, of 2007 and I'm going to do the Deanston 9 year old Bordeaux red wine cask uh, that's 2008 so both of these whiskies, neither of them are finished they've had their full life, their full maturations in those casks, the Caribbean cask and the Bordeaux cask so it'll be interesting to see how they come out so just let me just pour these samples um, just to see how we get on That's the tomatin. Uh, I've not done any tomatin before on the channel. Um, and this is the Deanston. Just a quick one. Both of these drams are non-chill filtered and natural colour. Uh, there is a difference in ABV, guys. So it's just to give you a quick rundown. The tomatin is the 46% ABV. And the Deanston is, wow, it's a whopping 58.7. So I'm looking forward to that. And just a quick one, guys, regarding colour. Uh, there's an absolutely massive difference, a massive contrast in these two colours. This is obviously your Tomatin Caribbean cask. And this is your Deanston uh, red wine cask. So there are massive, massive differences. Um, so we'll get on and we'll crack on and nose these. Uh, and we'll give them a little bit on the palette, see the differences and I'll do a little bit on the finish and then obviously I'll try and see if I have a preference. Uh, so without any further ado guys, on the nose I'm going to do the Tomatin first. So this is the Tomatin 9 year old uh, Caribbean rum cask. It's fully matured, this, these are not finishes, they've been in their whole lives, I've been in these uh, Caribbean rum casks, which is unusual, so. Wow, that's super sweet. Right away you can, I can pick it, I'm picking up some sweet vanilla, some sweet honey. Some tropical fruits, you've got your pineapple, banana, touch of coconut. It's a little bit oaky as well, I've got a nice oak note. And you've got a little, in the, although this has been fully matured in rum, there's not a, it's beautifully balanced. Um, I'm not getting this. I thought this would be really, really rummy, but it's it's not. It's actually beautiful in the nose. It's a fantastic, sweetie, honey-driven. See, it's sweet. There's a little bit of spice on the end of it. Beautiful, beautiful nose. There is a little bit of rum influence now that the more I'm, I'm getting into it, I can pick up some rum. I'm not a fan of rum. I uh, always find it very sweet and I'm more a whiskey man rather than a rum man but this smells beautiful in the nose, it's just that little bit of spice on the background let's try this on the palate guys
Wow, very, very nice. On the first taste, guys, there's a little bit of heat from the 46%. It's quite mouth coating. It's lovely, it's lovely and creamy. Uh, lots of vanilla, lots of honey, very sweet. I actually expected more rum influence, but it's not really driven by the rum. It's just a really nice, I think the balance is beautiful. I was really, my expectations was this is going to be very rummy, but it's it's not. It's it's beautiful, beautifully balanced. It's a little bit chewy. Towards the end, there's a little bit of spice coming in now, but it's very, very fruity. The bananas are there. The pineapples are there. A little bit of apple and pear. Uh, it's quite tropical. There is a real tropical note. Just a little bit of coconut there. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me just try this a little bit on the finish, guys. Wow, this is spectacular. It's it's oaky, it's fruity, it's very, very juicy. See all the bananas, the bananas and pineapples and all that tropical fruit are there. It's coming a little bit oaky and spicy towards the end, but the biggest note of all is it's, it's long lasting and it's very juicy and it's very sweet. Beautiful, beautiful dram. That's very nice. Okay, guys, let's try the other one. Let's try this Deanston. Again, this is nine years old, all matured and uh, red wine casks. No finishing. This is a full maturation. This is done at a whopping 58.7 ABV. Again, no colour, no chill filtering. So on the nose, guys, of this tomato, uh, sorry, the Deanston. Wow, it's got a big, big nose, this. Lots of black fruits. Black cherries. Black currants. There's a lot going on with this, guys. This is, this is really, really complex nose. But again, it's very, very fruity. Got some red apples. Uh, wow, lots of vanilla, it's very, very sweet, picking up those kind of plums, some dark fruits, plums, berries, it's lots of berries, blackberries, red berries, cherries, again, this has got a beautifully balanced nose as well, it's complex and well balanced, this is beautifully constructed and well put together, with the guys at Deanston. And again, this is, it smells, it smells quite juicy. It smells like it's going to be really, really sweet. It's a bit of spice, I think it's spicy ginger here. But then I think this is all, it's all berries, all black currants, red berries, black cherries. Beautiful plums. A lot of red fruits as well. It's all kind of red and like you, it makes sense with being a red wine cask. Okay, let's try this on the palate, guys. This one is going to be a wee bit hotter. I know it's, it's 58.7 ABV, so here we go. Slanch. Woo! Wow! This is spectacular. This is powerful. It's intense. 
it's full bodied on the arrival it's very very chewy it's thick wow again it's complex beautiful mouthfeel wow 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 so it's very fruity it's almost syrupy it's jammy lot again lots of strawberries raspberries all kind of stewed fruits all together lots of berries lots of raspberries lots of strawberries both of these in common guys have lots of lots of berry influences strawberries raspberries black currants black cherries there's lots of that there's a big big note of dark chocolate on this one as well which is beautiful and again i'm surprised because i'm getting a little bit of a bit of tobacco in this not smoky but it's just it just seems like freshly cut tobacco a little bit of leather i tend to get that in older whiskies so i'm picking this up in this one which is really unusual again it's full bodied wow again it's rich i'm just going to try some more of this guys see if i can pick any more this is really really complex quite dry there's no bitterness but again it is it's very very chewy beautiful mouth feel you've got the heat of the 58.7 ABV but it is easy to drink toward getting towards the finish it's coming spicier I'm getting a little tingle on the sides of my cheeks but ginger maybe some Maybe some black pepper, some gin, definitely some ginger. Wow, this this guys is a well, they're both fantastic whiskies. Uh, this one, I think. Let me just do the finish first, and then we'll. So on the finish of this, Deanston, nine year old. Again, it's very very long. It's hot from the fifty eight point uh, seven. It's becoming spicier. It's still, it's still chewy towards the end, but it's all fruity, all berries, all cherries. Absolutely wonderful stuff. So, just to conclude, guys, these are both fantastic drams. I'd re highly recommend these to anyone. I've not done a lot of tomatin before. See, this is I've only had a few tomatins in the past. I've actually got a tomato and distillery bottle on order picking that up next week uh so i'm looking forward to that but it's a different one to this this is this is obviously the caribbean which it's very very looking at going back to it now it's it's becoming much much more tropical so the the caribbean caribbean influence is coming in the longer it's in the, the longer you leave this in the glass so Again, it's just getting sweeter and sweeter, more tropical, which is awesome. And this is just, this is just spectacular as well. So all in all, guys, both of these whiskies, uh, I'm not too sure how much the Caribbean one is. I've checked out the, the Deanston, which is 45 to 50 pounds, which is incredible money. Um, it's like anything at Deanskin, it's it's superbly priced. Don't know how easy it is to still get a hold of this now. I think you might have to track it down. But if you can, pull the trigger. If you can find either of these guys, I would certainly have a go at buying both of these. But they're both super whiskies. Um, lovely. Uh, let's have a little test of this. Wow, both wonderful whiskies, guys. So, just to conclude, uh, I also done another five pack giveaway on my any new subscribers to the channel. In regards, I did highlight last time that I wasn't really getting notified 
I'm getting notified of new subscribers, but I'm not really getting who they are. I don't know if you've got your privacy settings um, set to be in private. Um, so I've not got a clue. I've had a few subscribers since the last one, but I've got no clue who they are. So if if you're still subscribing, guys, just please have a look at your um, privacy settings to see if you are uh, keeping that from me. If you want to do it just to go into the draw and then take it back, I'm quite happy to do that, guys. So I'm going to leave the subscriber um, draw open for another week. I have got a few names that I can put in the hat, but I want to leave it for a week just to see if I can give some more people a chance to, to pick this, this prize up. Uh, so without further ado, guys, until next time, I'm Alan, the Whiskey Friend. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.